Right, what's happening? What's happening? That is a very good question. <laughs> I cannot even remember what happened the last time. I know I start every banished video by saying that, but like, I can't even remember how long ago it was I recorded the last episode of Banished. It was like a while ago. A merchant has arrived apparently. That must be a merchant that I um, dealt with last time because there's not merchant. The reserve of food is low. Yes, I do remember this being a small problem. Had I done something to try and rectify that problem? Honestly, it has been so long since I recorded the last episode of Banished. Um, which I think was the last video I recorded as well. So it's been a long time since I recorded a video. I think I'm a little bit out of practice. <laughs> this, however, is going to be the last Banished video. Um, it's currently Christmas Eve when I'm recording this. Yes. And into the new year, we're going to have exciting new... Um, exciting new series. I've got two. I've got two in mind. I've got a chill one for Sundays and then I've got a um, um, a slightly more exciting one which I think is going to be on Saturdays. We're going to do Saturdays and Sundays. I know we were doing like Sundays and Thursdays and Tuesdays and stuff but yeah that's all gone out the window. We're doing Saturdays and Sundays now with maybe some extra ones through the week. Um, I might do a proper update video I was going to say to upload on Christmas, but Christmas is tomorrow, so that might be a bit short notice. Maybe I'll just do it on Christmas. <laughs> I'll record it on Christmas. I might be able to get it recorded and uploaded on Christmas. I might be able to do that. That might be my Christmas project. Hmm. Yes. Anyway. Yes. So this is going to be the last Banished episode. I'm wrapping up Banished. I'm wrapping up the series to make room for the two new ones I've got planned. Um, I literally cannot remember what happened. Right. Last time, I think, we built the quarry, didn't we? we? Built the quarry. The food is getting really low. Oh my god. Yeah, we built the quarry. This was Quarryton, wasn't it? Yes. And we built a little orchard for Quarryton. And it's got its own little school and it's got its own church, which only has two members, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> this was the rough end, wasn't it? This is the rough end where the church only has two members, bless it. Actually, that looks not unlike the church from uh, Sister Act. This could be our very own little sister act community over here. Slightly rough area with the struggling church. Uh, maybe I'll watch Sister Act tomorrow. Maybe that's what I'll do on Christmas Day. I fucking love Sister Act. Honestly, like Sister Act is genuinely one of my favourite films of all time. I love that film. I love the sequel as well. That one's really good too. It's, um, it's one of those rare things where like the sequel and the original, I think they are equally as good as each other. I don't think one is better than the other. I think they are both really, really good. Um, we're down to 58 food. That's that's quite concerning, actually. That's something we should probably do something about pretty sharpish. So, um, are we running at... Yeah, we're running at normal speed at the minute. So, if we are going to... Um, hang on. What, what's our um, families to houses ratio? Families 55, homes 49. Right, okay. So it's time for expansion, and we need more food coming in. Um, we're fine on literally everything else, but we need more food. What are you set to at the minute? You're set to iron. Right. <clears throat> so, we've got a bit of a forest area going on over here. So I think if we build like another little foresty bit with a gatherer's hut and a hunter's hut and a forester's, Although we don't really need the foresters because we've got plenty of wood coming in. So maybe just the gatherers and the hunter's hut over here to bring in more food. Um, so we're sort of expanding a little bit. And then we can have a few more houses in Quarryton. So we'll get going with that. I don't really know what else we're going to really be doing today. Because it's kind of... I mean, it's completely looking after itself, the town of Magpyton, isn't it? Which is sort of one of the reasons why I want to wrap this up. Because it's just like... I mean, it's just going to be more of the same over and over and over again there's not really much else we could do i mean you can fill a whole map like this i have done it but uh, i don't I, you know i just don't think it would be very entertaining for you to be honest right we'll build a little um we'll build a um a hoochima what's some thingamadoodly thingamahoochie hunting cabin that's the one we'll build a one of them out in the middle of the forest that's quite a nice place for it and then we'll get a um uh, and another thing, yes, that other thing that I was talking about, gather us hut, that's the one. <laughs> um, I know what I'm talking about, don't you worry. Um, we'll put it like there, that seems like a good place. And then we might put, should we put some little cabins out there for the, uh, the hunters to live in? 
That seems nice. Put some, put some wooden ones. Put some little wooden cabins out there um, for people to, to live in. Put like three and we'll stagger them back a little bit. Yeah, so we've got just a tiny little forest community out there and we'll put some little paths in for them. And we'll extend that path out. To, ooh, ooh, hang on a minute. No, we'll join it onto that one. Join it onto that one. Get a little path going into the forest but we'll leave it as a dirt path because that makes sense because it's a forest so food's gone up a little bit but that'll be because the harvest will have come in won't it or is in in the process of being brought in oh my god this is the giant mega field that they can never harvest fast enough isn't it i've got like fucking four farmers on here and they still can't harvest it fast enough um is the harvest over here done yeah the harvest over here is pretty much finished this one barely even started um we, we got quite a few early winters as well didn't we where just like the crops started dying off that's not very good. Um, we're doing all right on food for the minute, though. I mean, come on, we've got like we've got twenty-four cows, man. We've got thirty-four sheep. Thirty-four sheep. I mean, if we really needed food, I could just tell them to slaughter all of the sheep. That's a thing I could do, and then we'd get like a big influx of um, meat. So that is a thing we could do in a pinch, but I think we're all right. We're up to 785, man. We're all right. I mean, if they manage to bring all of these potatoes in, these potatoes in, yeah, if they manage to bring all of these potatoes in. Um, storage for reduced coats is near capacity. Um, oh my fucking god, yes, this was a thing, wasn't it? That, like, it's getting 100% full on nothing. I mean, it must be the wool that's taking up all the space. Because... This is weird that we've got the two problems, that we don't have enough food, but we've got, like, the storage barns are full. And it's like, if they're not full of food, what are they full of? Like, that's a bit weird, that is. But, um... Oh, here comes, here comes the early snow. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, see, our potatoes are all dying off now. If they had managed to get the harvest in fast enough, but they haven't, so... I mean, they'll still get some of them in. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. We will get through the winter. I need 12 builders. What do I need 12 builders for? Oh, the flipping hunter's hut thing that I put out. Yeah, <laughs> be useful if we actually had builders to build the bloody thing, wouldn't it? Storage for reduced goods near capacity. Should I build another storage barn? I could build another storage barn. I mean, I've got plenty of flipping resources, haven't I? I may as well just build another storage barn. I mean, is that does that mean that the market is near capacity as well? The market is 37% full. Just move some stuff to the fucking market. It's not bloody rocket science, is it? How many um, vendors have I got? I've got six vendors. That should be plenty to be moving stuff around. Surely. I'll tell you what, though. I will build them another storage barn. Can it fit there? Yeah, it can fit there. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. We'll put it right there. We'll get another storage barn um, <laughs> to put all of these potatoes in and all of the flipping animal skins. It must just be that, like, textiles take up loads of room or something like that. That must be what it is. Also, is this some of our cows escaping? Or are, is this, like, wild cows come to say hello to our domesticated cows? Also, those two cows are literally intersecting each other. That's interesting. <laughs> We've got conjoined triplets over here. Oh, and there's a chicken. Oh, there's a little chicken come to say hello to the moo cows. Oh, that's adorable. And there's a little sheep over here who's also come to say hello. I think this is all of the wild animals come to just kind of taunt the um, the uh, the domesticated ones who are just sort of trapped in this field, waiting to be slaughtered for food, being sort of awkwardly intersected by each other. <laughs> I feel like one of my things has disappeared. One of my things has disappeared, hasn't it? My, uh, my, my, my jobs list? Yeah, my jobs list disappeared. Why did my jobs list disappear? We need 16 builders now. Why do we need six? Oh, because I've built a storage barn, that's right. At least I don't have the problem of not having enough labourers. I mean, I think we've done pretty well on that because that's the thing that always screws you over in Banished, is that you end up not having enough people. Too many jobs and not enough people, but I think we've done pretty well on that this run, to be honest with you. Um, how's all this going out here? Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. There's some houses going up. I don't know who any of these people are anymore. Who are you? Otty. Otty is 63 and he's an educated builder. That's good. And who are you? Chrissa. Chrissa is 39 and she is also an educated builder. Means nothing to me. Means nothing to me at all. Can I see um, where her house is? Oh, oh, I can see where her house is. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, she's a, she's a citizen of Quarryton, is she? Oh, she's from the rough end. From the rough end. That's cool. He is nine and his job is a, uh, being a child, which is a wonderful job to have. He is also a, a resident of Quarryton. 
That's Sheridan. Or Cher Sheridan? Sheridan? Sheridan. Sheridan. Uh, 44. And she's a cleric. Is she the cleric at this church here? I bet she is. And her house is there. Oh, that's really nice. I can see where they all live and stuff. That's really nice. It doesn't mean anything to us, of course. We've got like hundreds and hundreds of people by now. How many people have we got? We've got 155 citizens. That is a lot of people. And it's telling me down here all of these people who have like become students and become laborers and whatnot. Yeah, means absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Um, Vanica. Oh, wait, I remember Vanica. I remember Vanica because um, I started talking about Vantica, didn't I, from um, that Deep Space Nine episode. Yeah, so I do remember Vanica. And Wald. I definitely don't remember Wald. What's that? Corn or Corny? Hermaine and Elnora. Oh, and a child named uh, Maver was born. That's nice. I wish you could click on them on here to, like, see what house they're in and stuff like that. Because then, like... You... Trouble is, because people move around and stuff, although, I don't know, do they stay in the same houses? I don't know whether they always stay in the same houses, because I'm sure some people moved around um, <clears throat> the last time. That's a nice young couple who've moved into that uh, that house there. Get some nice children going on. Not that I really need children right now. My food's back up to 1,101. So that's interesting. I'm going to guess that that is like 90% potatoes. <laughs> What's that? Storage for produced goods. Yes, I know, I know. I'm building you another barn. Stop complaining. I think I'm going to speed time up a bit because, like, there's really no happening at the minute, is there right? So we'll speed time up. Watch all my people zoom around doing their zoomy things. We'll get this bit built up. Um, We're going to need more hunters and whatnot, aren't we? Uh, we don't need that many builders anymore. Get hunters up to nine and get... So the other one's gatherers up to 12. And then... We just need the storage barn built, don't we? Where's the storage barn? Where are you, storage barn? You are being constructed! Wait till that gets up and then we can take all of our builders off and then we can figure out what we want to do next. Right, so we've got an extra storage barn. That's good. Um, I don't know what we want to do next. What do we want to do next? I feel like blacksmith the tool limit is still 50 which seems to be fine despite the fact we now have 155 people it must just be that he can like make them quickly enough to replace um the things i know storage for produced goods is near capacity that's why i built you another storage barn bloody it already got 100 beef and 100 mutton in it <laughs> yep that's all of those sheep and cows that i bought um oh god the cemetery's getting a bit full um how's the cemetery over here doing doing all right we had a weird thing that the graves started disappearing didn't we that was an odd situation we had for a while um the graves were disappearing um it's like an episode of doctor who that is <laughs> the graves are disappearing um yeah I, I didn't know whether that was something that had been patched in or something like that because it did used to be pretty annoying that you had to keep constantly be building cemeteries to keep up with like demand but I think I prefer that over the, the graves just like randomly disappearing. That that was a bit fucking creepy, that was. Um, I feel like Quarryton could do with a graveyard, actually. You could build a little graveyard for Quarryton, maybe up beside the church. I think it does look grim over here, doesn't it? Just grim and grey. Um, oh, there's a trader, there's a trader. I bet you have nothing that I want. You have sheep and cattle! <laughs> oh dear, I could sell you sheep and cattle. I do not need... Um, Sheep and cattle, right, yes, you can just go away. Yeah, and our food is now getting back up to stupid amounts just because I've built that gatherer's hut and that. For, um, not foresters, the other one, hunter's cabin. Yeah, that's that's it really now. The food's back up. We once again have no worries. The quarry's bringing in stone. I mean, like, I'm running out of stuff to do at this point. How are the schools doing? You've got eight students. And you've got eight students. We've only got 16 students. No, we've got 26 students. Do I have a third school? I must have a third school. Hang on a minute. Nomads. 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 There are eight nomads. Yes, we can have eight nomads. I'm sure we can find space for them. Um, yes, do I have another school? Yes, I do. So that one's got 10 students. We're doing all right on schools. We're doing all right on churches. That one's only got seven members. <laughs> um... Like, should we build some nice houses in uh, Quarryton for the nomads? Um, 
Yeah, so put one like there next to the church and then put another one there. Um, I don't want to build too far into the forest, but we'll put another one there. That should be enough for eight people. Get eight people in three houses, right? Probably. Oh, wait, I'll need builders. Why does my jobs thing keep disappearing? Do I keep closing my jobs thing? They need six builders. Six builders. Um, yeah, why does my jobs thing keep closing? That's very odd. Uh, it's more children being born. Just watching my little people build these houses. Like frantic little midgets that they are. <laughs> Is that housed everybody? That's housed everyone. We can take those builders off again. This is riveting, isn't it? Yeah, but this is the trouble with Banished. It gets to this point where you're just like, there's not anything else to do, to be honest with you. I mean, I have had towns where I've sort of just kept expanding and expanding and expanding until I filled the whole map and I could have kept going. But I don't know whether I was maybe more easily entertained back then or what. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit kind of... It's a great game. I really love it. It's a great game to just like relax and chill. But you can only go so far with it. It would be nice if there were a few more sort of um, crises that could arise here and there. Uh, I'm not talking about anything, you know, drastic. Just a few more things you might have to plan for. Our potatoes are dying again. <sighs> yeah, that's as dramatic as it gets, isn't it? But we're, we're up to 3,000 food. Like... It's fine. The potatoes can die. Like, our food crisis was fixed by me building one hunter's hut and one gatherer's hut. For which I had plenty of resources. So, you know. Not like flipping Frostbunk. <laughs> um, oh, there's a fire. Oh, the drama. The drama, the excitement. There's a fire. There's also a merchant. You lot deal with the fire. I'll deal with the merchant. Um, the food merchant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. No, I don't need any food. I think you can just go, thank you. You're a few months too late. I've fixed the food crisis. How's the fire going? Yeah, there is one house on fire. It's also snowing. I'm not convinced. I mean, there's literally snow on the roof of that house. I'm not convinced that it would be burning down quite as dramatically as this, but okay. It's right next to the fucking storage barn as well. If our storage barn burns down, that would be a bit inconvenient, wouldn't it? Look at them go. Look at them all put their little buckets of water on the fire. I bet it's going to do absolutely no. Where are they getting it from? They're getting it from there. Some of them are getting it from, like, way over here. That's a bit weird. Where the hell are you lot getting water from? You're carrying it, like, all the way down this path. Is the fire out? Oh, the fire's out. We lost one house. <sighs> we'll just rebuild it, I suppose. We'll just rebuild the house. We'll get two builders to rebuild that house. That was exciting, wasn't it? That'll give them something for the front page of the newspaper. I know what we haven't built yet. Hang on a minute. I got it in a mod, didn't I? The creamery. A creamery is used to take milk and generate yogurt, cream and cheese. Yes, that's a thing we should do. We should build a little dairy farm in our little farming area if I have room for it anywhere, which I don't think I do. I can move, I can tuck it around by, 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 by. I can tuck it around behind here. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. Yes, we'll do that. We'll get a little creamery. Can I put it in that way? Where's the path? Is there not a path here? No, there's not a path there. <laughs> I'm thinking of that path. Um. Oh, where should I put it then? Should I put, tuck it in like there? Oh, that's next to the tavern. Is it a good idea to have a creamery next to the tavern? I'm not sure. Or I could put it down by the chickens. Hmm, opposite the graveyard. It around behind there. Do that maybe. Yeah, that seems like a good place for it. We'll stick the creamery there. And we'll build a little path up to it like that. <coughs> Keep it the dirt paths because this is Farmington. We have dirt paths in Farmington, for it is a farm. We'll build ourselves a little creamery and then we can make cream and cheese and yogurt, and that'll be exciting, isn't it? Because the one thing we definitely would need right now is another source of food. <laughs> I mean, we're just turning one source of food into, like, other sources of food. I don't think, you know, it's so dramatic that uh, <laughs> it's not going to be, like, producing extra food, is it? In fact, it'd probably be producing less food. I mean, how much milk do you need to make yoghurt? Hmm, there's a thing. Is it going to take, like, two milks and make one yoghurt? I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, why am I checking this? That's not what I wanted to be checking. That's what I wanted to be checking. I wanted to see. We've got 66 families and 54 homes. Okay, we do actually need more houses then. Somewhat desperately. Well, not desperately. Um, we, we slightly need some more houses. Should we start bridging the gap between Quarryton and Farmington and just build some houses along? As happens in real life. Where you have like loads of little hamlets that are really close to each other and then they just build more and more houses until eventually it ended with a giant town. Um, <laughs> and it all just becomes known as one place. Even though they were originally separate places. Yes, that's what happens in the real life and that's what we're going to do here. Build some little stone houses. Um... We'll build it next to the tavern or a bit along from the tavern. You don't want to live right next to a tavern, would you? I feel like that would be a bit noisy. Build some houses on the road into Quarryton. It can be called Quarry Road. Because that's how imaginative I am. We'll build some houses along there. That should do it, shouldn't it? And now we need 16 builders. We'll get 16 builders. Nay bother at all. Why are we back down to one speed? Is that because there was a fire? Were you being a drama queen game and saying that we needed to only be on one speed because there was a fire? Because <laughs> it wasn't that dramatic. Do you remember like early on when we had a tornado? We should have another tornado. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? That would be something to talk about. Something for them to gossip at down at the magpie over here. That's why I called this tavern. I called it the magpie. And then this one was the quarryman. Yes. I remember. I do remember what I've said in previous videos. <laughs> Eventually, once I get going. Crocky has become a student. Who the fuck would name a child Crocky? Like, really? Crocky? What have we got? We've got Crocky, we've got Filler, Waymond, uh, Am Amelian? Amelian. Amelian. Celia. Pamel. Oh, God. Pamela. Pam Pamela. Pamela. The reserve of firewood is low. The reserve of firewood is low. Oh my god. Okay, I might have built one too many houses. I haven't even been thinking about firewood. Oh, we need a, we need a, um, we need a, a, a whatever a person is who works at a creamery. A dairyman. We need two dairymen. We can have two dairymen. We've got a creamery. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm losing my voice. That's adorable. Yeah. So this was. I got this from a mod. It's not. It wasn't in the original game. Um, yeah, loads of cool little mods like that for Banish to just add extra little things. Right, and um, we need another woodcutters. Should we give Quarryton its own woodcutters to cut wood? That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Woodcutter, there it is. We'll stick a little woodcutters somewhere. Um, pop it there. Although, mind you, there's nowhere nearby that brings wood in, is there? I might need to build a foresters out there after all. Um, <clears throat> not because we need more wood, just because we need a source of wood that's closer. Although, we could just nip through the tunnel and get wood from there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just build, we'll build a woodcutters there for Quarryton. Um, we now only need three builders and we've got 16. Uh, put that down to three. So we could build all those houses. Wait. Wait, where were those houses? Quarryton, where's Quarryton? I'm completely lost my bearings here. Flipping out, where am I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's it. We'll call it Quarry Row, shall we? That's what we'll call it. We'll call this Quarry Row. Um, all of these houses. Have we got nice young couples in? Oh, not really. We've got some. Yeah, we've got a few nice young couples starting families and whatnot. But then, oh God, they're the, the, old, the oldies, aren't they? Yeah, okay, actually, they're mostly young couples. So we'll get more children coming in. Like I say, not that we actually need any more children. <laughs> um, uh, we need another woodcutter. There we go. There's a trader, apparently. Hello, Mr. Trader. You want to... No, no. Just piss off, all right? I don't need your bloody sheep anymore. I have so many sheep. We are completely out of coal. That's bad. Why did, why did nobody tell me that we were out of coal? I need to know these things because they're using coal to make steel tools, aren't they? At least they should be. Are you using coal to make steel tools? No, you're making iron tools. You should definitely be making steel tools. Um, heck. Nobody around here knows what they're doing, do they? We've got 1,267 1, stored textiles. We definitely don't need that many. Are you making warm coats? Yes, you are. Good. Um... Christ almighty. Um, mind you, the amount of clothes is... I wonder if we're going to end up needing another tailors sometime soon. We could build another tailors. I feel like, where could we put another tailors? I mean, we could put it next to the, this tailor. 
Um, hold on a second. <coughs> As I was saying, yeah, um, we could put it next to next to this tail. You could have two tailors next to each other, couldn't you? I couldn't think where else we could put it, to be honest with you. Because we're sort of a bit tight on space everywhere else. Quarryton... I don't know, is there anywhere I could put it in Quarryton? Because I want to leave this forest intact for the, um, the gatherers and whatnot. Should we build a little well out here for the, uh, for the foresty place? So they've got a little well in case one of their things catches fire. That seems like a good idea. Should we stick it, stick it on the corner there? Give them a little well. Mm. And then... What was I going to do? I was going to build another tailor, wasn't I? Because the, the, the supply of coats is genuinely going down. So I'm going to build... Where is it? Where is it? We're going to build a tailor. Um, and we're going to stick it... Yeah, we're going to stick it up here by the church. And uh, one of the Quarryton, Quarry, Quarryton residents can be a tailor. Although, actually, because we've got the bloody tanner over here, haven't we? Where's the tanner? Why am I so lost today? Have I changed the orientation of the camera or something? Just everything looks wrong. Um, yeah, because we've already got the tanner there. And, and I mean, we've got no problem with getting enough leather in, so we don't need another tanner. Maybe I should just stick another tailor here in our little, like, tailor's corner. Yeah, let's do that. We'll stick a tailor there. <coughs> so we now need three builders. We've got 29 labourers, bloody hell. We've got a bit of a death wave going on as well. Got a load of people dying all at once, but it's kind of fine because we've got enough labourers. So, you know, we'll build another tailor. Um, get some more coats coming in. We'll probably actually raise the limit on coats as well because what is the limit? 50 now. We'll raise that to... No, 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 no. Not that many. Just 100. Um, and we'll raise that to 100 as well, actually. I know we're fine on tools for the minute, but, you know, we'll raise it just, you know, just, just to make sure we don't have a crisis on our hands. See, we're down to 19 coats. 19 coats. This is practically a drama for Mag Magpie Tin. <laughs> the fact that we're down to 19 coats and we might have to build another tailor. Oh, look, we've built another tailor. We'll need to hire another tailor. Where's the tailor? There we go. We've hired another tailor. Marvellous. Who is the tailor we have hired? Laura, oh, Laura, Laura, yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. She is the tailor. She's 29 years old. She's educated. She's running around too fast for me to handle. There we go. Uh, is that another trader? It's another trader. Oh my God, we've got traders coming out. Oh, flipping heck. I don't need food. Right, these are the things I definitely 100% do not need. Food and livestock. Would you both please piss off? All I'm getting is the food merchant, then the livestock merchant, then the food merchant, then the livestock merchant, then the food merchant, then the livestock merchant. It's like, no, go away. I left to fetch some hankies to blow my nose with. Did anything exciting happen while I was gone? No, no, it didn't. <laughs> of course it did. We've now got, we're now up to 33 labourers and we've got three builders that we don't need. So that's something. Actually, I tell you what, we've got all these labourers. So we can get back up to 15 miners. We can have everything fully staffed. We can have 15 stone cutters. We don't need any of this. Um, we can have 12 vendors. And we'll leave the trader at just one because honestly the trader has absolutely nothing to do most of the time because, you know, we're not trading with anything. Um, I also just want to tell you that when I left the room to go and get the hankies, right? And then I came back into the room and as I was walking into the room, I turned the light off. <laughs> I turned the light off in the room that I was walking into. You ever do that when you just sort of like, it's just instinct that you walk into a room and you hit the light switch? Yeah. So that was a genius moment for me. Um, what have you two run out of? Have you run out of leather? Oh my God. Do we now need to build another Tanners? Can you not keep up with demand? Wait, well, actually, firstly, you should be making warm coats, not just hide coats. Um, why are you saying that? Have you actually run out of leather? Do I need to make another Tanner? Oh, for God's sake, man. I suppose that gives us something to do, doesn't it? Right. But that, I mean, that negates the whole point of me building the tailor next to the other tailor because we already had a tanner there. Nah. Right, um, there's another merchant turned up. He can fucking wait. Um, <clears throat> okay, we'll build another tanner. Tucked around the back like that. And then um, we'll build a wee path. 
We'll build a wee path. Hang on a minute, it's meant to be a stone path. We'll build a wee stone path. Uh, did that build? I don't know if that built or not. I think that built. Um, and then we'll get a couple of builders and then we'll go and deal with this trader. What do you want? The general goods merchant. Chief beef, apple, onions, potatoes, walnut seeds, cabbage seeds and yogurt. We've already got cabbage seeds. I can't remember if we've already got walnut seeds or not, but I really don't care. So go away. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be building another orchard anytime soon. Speaking of which, is this orchard over here like actually harvesting yet? I don't know because it's winter. Um, no, I think it will be harvesting next year though. It's our chestnuts. We can have chestnuts next year for Krimpus. They celebrate Krimpus in um, Mike Python. What do I need? I need a tanner. I need a tanner. I need a tanner. There we go. Right. Hopefully, hopefully, you should now be able to bring in enough leather to support two tailors. <laughs> um... Yeah, so this is our little textiles corner over here with the blacksmiths in the middle, but you know. Uh, we'll call this industry corner, shall we? <laughs> um, places do have like names like that though, don't they? Like, um, I, I love it when places have names like, where is it not far from me? And it, it's something, is it something like lo Locomotive Road or something like that? Or, it, or something, it's something Engine Street or something. I can't remember. Anyway, it's something very like industrial like that. Um, and my other favourite one is, is the metro station in Newcastle, which is, well, it's not in Newcastle, it's outside Newcastle. When you're, when you're on the metro going into Newcastle, there's a, a metro station called Four Lane Ends. <laughs> it's called Four Lane Ends because it's where four lanes end. I, I just, I just enjoy that as a place name. It's one of those, it sounds like it belongs in like a fantasy RPG or something, doesn't it? Four Lane Ends. Um, I wish I could remember what that place was called now. It's something like it's something Engine Street. Oh man, I can't remember. That's like around Newcastle as well. Um, yeah, and then you have there's a lot of places like there's a lot of commerce roads, isn't there? A lot of like main streets are called Commerce Road. Because I used to, you see, I used to be a meter reader, and then before that, I used to do like all of my other jobs involved, like walking up and down streets and things like that. So I've spent a lot of time walking up and down streets. Main streets are amazing places. I always enjoyed doing main streets because they're like a real hodgepodge of stuff, like like all kind of hashed together. I mean, there's a big long road up in Aberdeen where I used to work called Great Western Road. And that, I mean, it's not actually Main Street, but it sort of is. And, like, you start at one end of Great Western Road, and it's, like, literal manor houses, more or less. These houses are massive, and you meet some of, like, the most eccentric people you will ever meet in your life in these houses. I have read gas meters that were, I, I shit you not, down a secret passage hidden behind a painting. Genuinely. Genuinely. That I went into this house... And I said, I'm here to read the gas meter. And this lovely, very, very well put together lady and answered the door. Honestly, like she just stepped out of Downton Abbey. I'm not even joking. Like her hair was beautiful and everything. Um, she was about 80 years old, probably. And, and she was absolutely tiny as well. She must have been about four foot 11 or something. Um, and she took me through into this little like side room type thing, right? And there was this little piano. And she said, you're going to have to help me lift the piano. I said, all right. So we moved the piano away from the wall. And then, like, behind that, there was, like, a sort of big painting thing, which we took off the wall. And then, <laughs> I swear I'm not making this up, there was a little door with a key in it, hidden behind the painting. And you open the little door, and she said, right, you have to go down the stairs. Right, and I went down these tiny little wooden stairs, like proper narrow, like really, I mean, I could barely get my shoulders through them. Down these tiny little narrow stairs. And there was a secret wine cellar where the gas meter was. And, and they used it as a wine cellar as well because there was wine there. And that's where the gas meter was, honestly. <clears throat> Some of the things. And then there was another one where you used to have to go, well, to get to the gas meter, you had to like, it was in a cupboard that was in the cupboard under the stairs. So th there was like the cupboard under the stairs and then you had to get down on your tummy and there was another tiny little cupboard at the back and you had to open that and like stick your head through to, to read the gas meter. 
uh, but the electric meter was literally under the house and you had to go <laughs> to the back of the house and there was like a little door like in the foundations and they would open that door and I would go in and you'd have to be like duck down and literally walk under the length of the house because the electric meter was like under the front door. Oh my God. Some of the houses on Great Western Road, honestly, but that's like at one end of Great Western Road. And then you work your way along. And as you get along, there's a tornado. There's a tornado that's interrupting my anecdote. Um, yeah, as you kind of go along, it gets like, <laughs> it's sort of, it gets more and more lower class, let's just say. And you get to the end and there's like a, I mean, there's sort of flats, but there's like posh flats, and then there's not so posh flats, and then there's like student buildings, and then there's like some shops and some businesses, and um, it, it's just like a real hodgepodge of stuff. But I mean, I loved streets like that, they were just like, right, and I used to love reading the meters in pubs, because you would go into a pub at like one o'clock in the afternoon, and there'd be all these drunk old men <laughs> sitting around reading newspapers and watching the races you know and you would and you would say i'm here to read the gas meter and they would let you in and you got to go around the back of the bar and then there was like like genu you know like you see on tv where they've got a trap door in the back and then you go down these like stairs into like a proper the proper like beer cellar of the pub oh man i used to love that especially like proper old pubs like in the center of aberdeen really old buildings that have been there for like however old the city is um and things like i used to love buildings that had been something else that had then been turned into flats a lot of churches have been turned into flats and there's one church in aberdeen and it's like there's like two roads intersect and it's like a triangle and in this little triangle is a church and it looks so out of place because it's just sat there and it is tiny. I'm not joking. It is it is so small. It's a tiny, tiny little, I wouldn't even call it a church. It's more like just a tiny little chapel. I mean, it's, it's absolutely tiny and it's been turned into flats and there are like 18 flats in that church. And I was looking and I had my list because I, I had to read the meter in all of them. And I had my list and I was looking and it was like flat 18. And I was like, are you being fucking serious right now? There are 18 flats in that church. But yeah, there are 18 flats in that church. But churches that have been turned into flats are the best because quite often they still got like the stained glass windows. And sometimes you'll walk in and there'll be like the panelled... I mean, I'm talking like proper old churches, not crappy modern churches that they build. I mean, like they've got like the proper old wood panelling and everything. But then you go into a room and it's all like plush and it's like carpets and flat screen TVs and everything like that. And it's just a weird kind of thing. But that like... There was also a, a, a one that had originally been it had originally been like the head office of some kind of company or something or another. And when you walked through the door, it still had the company logo on the floor in like a mosaic, but it was flat. And it was so weird because it, it's hard to explain, but it, it was like, it, it felt like this proper old building, but then you would walk into a flat and it was like stepping, you know, through the, the wardrobe into Narnia because you go from this old i mean proper old building with like oak staircases and everything i mean it felt old it felt like you're walking around a museum or something like that and then you step through a door into a flat and it's all like modern and everything it's be very weird flats are cool though i, I always liked that about flats that like there are about i mean you have a block of flats and there are just like so many different worlds <sighs> it's like it's like little put little yeah, it's, it's like little portals into different worlds. It's weird. I don't know what I'm trying to explain here, but I should probably deal with this tornado, which um, seems to have disappeared. Is there, still a, is there still a tornado? Oh, yeah, there's the tornado. Oh, dear, that's a bit close, isn't it? Is that... Which way are you going, Mr. Tornado? Are you heading away? Oh, you're heading away, I think. I think we probably don't need to worry about you that much. <laughs> you're, just, you're probably going to fizzle out soonish, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Although I don't know, I mean that is upper magpie tin that you're skirting around the edges of there. It might be like the middle class people you're about to piss off. I mean, it seems to be, oh it's felling some trees, it's felling some trees, it seems to be heading away though. Um, oh my god, lots of people have just... What? Whoa, 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 how are you all killed by the tornado? It's fucking miles away. None of the buildings have been damaged. Were there people out in the woods? Uh, actually, quite a lot of them were students. <laughs> oh man. 
Uh, oh my god, three students and the teacher were all killed by the tornado. Oh, this is like a proper tragedy, this is. That the students were all killed by the tornado. Oh man, this will go down in the history books of Magpite, and this will- Actually, it's done a very good job of clearing those trees. If I wanted to expand out and build over here, that tornado has done me a service there. It's a shame it killed most of my students in the process, but you know, I've got 22 others. Um, yeah, that, that only has four students left now. Were they on a field trip out to the woods or something like that? How did they manage to kill all those students? Because the, the, the school's there. And the school's fine. Oh, I'm very confused. Anyway, yes, that tornado is now disappearing off over here. I don't think it'll. I don't think it's likely to um, hit anything important from now on. It is carving a nice path through the trees, though. I have to say. I mean, the last one happened out over the lake, didn't it? So um, yeah, we didn't get to see the path of devastation, but that is, that is doing a wonderful job of felling those trees. It's hanging around for quite a long time. I wish it would just like go away because it seems to keep like changing course as well. And I don't want it to. I mean, it's pretty far away from the town. It should be, it should be all right. We had a few students die there, but um, you know, that's fine. Why does my job thing keep disappearing? <sighs> um, got two builders there. We don't need something's out of something. Oh, the tavern is out of pears. Have you made too much ale? Oh my god, we're actually out of alcohol. Hmm, we might have too much. Too many people and not enough alcohol. Also, our food is going down again a little bit. That's a bit, bit troubling. I think we may be expanding a bit too quickly. I went and got myself another drink and also went to the toilet. Did anything exciting happen? <laughs> no, didn't think so. Oh, there's a trader disappearing. I didn't dismiss a trader, did I? Did I leave a trader so long that you, d you just buggered off? I didn't know that that was a thing that could genuinely happen. Um, I don't remember a trader turning up. Oh, well, I probably didn't have anything I wanted anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so nothing exciting has happened. No more tornadoes <laughs> killing our students. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> yeah, that'll go in the history books. That will. The day the tornado came through and killed all of the innocent children. <laughs> um, yeah. There's just nothing going on, really, is there? I could tell a non- uh, uh, Oh, Thor has become a student. That's exciting. I like that we've got someone called Thor. We've also got Vinifred. Vinifred. <laughs> um, Ad Adel, 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 Adelbert, Adelbert, Hady. We had a Hady. Hady was one of the originals, wasn't she? Or he? Um, Websterlin. Websterlin, really? Uh, we've got Harren and Heli. I think Heli died. Did Heli die? Heli must have died of old age. A child named Quentin. Quentin is quite a normal name for this uh, this game. Yes, so Thor has become a student, that's good. Other than that, not really much happening, is there? Um, I could tell another anecdote <laughs> about my previous jobs. Um, I don't know, I, I'm trying very much, because I used to do that a lot in my earlier videos. I would just go off on tangents about like what had happened in my day. Which sometimes was quite funny, but a lot of the time I used to find, like, when I was editing it, I would find it really boring. And I don't know whether that was just because I already know it all. Or whether it's just, like, genuinely really boring. And I would be like, for God's sake, Magpie, nobody's interested in your life. Stop telling them about it. So, yes, I'm actively trying to do less of that. Just sort of going off on, like, random tangents about my life. Because you know what? I've got, like, 33 subscribers now, you know. Is it 33 or did it go up to 34? Hang on a minute. Hang on, I haven't checked in a while actually. Hang on a minute, let me double check how many subscribers I've got. I haven't checked it in quite a while because I haven't been on because I haven't um, uploaded anything. Um, yeah, but like when you think <laughs> when you think that for the first like, what, year and a half, I had, I think it was seven subscribers and at least five of them I knew who they were in real life. So, you know, the fact that I've now got 30 something is kind of exciting, I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah, 34. Well, hang on a minute, it's going to update in a minute, just in case anybody else has subscribed. Has anybody else subscribed? Or... Oh my god, yes! 35! <laughs> 35! What on earth for? Why are you all here? What do you want from me? Like, I am genuinely interested, because I do not have enough subscribers, and I don't get enough views, that I can really judge what's popular and what's not, like what people are subscribing for. I don't get enough numbers. You know, like YouTubers do, where they say, oh, this is my most popular series, and you know, this one doesn't 
get many views so I don't do any of that blah 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 and they can sort of you know look at the demographics and all that kind of stuff I don't get enough to be able to judge all of that so when people are subscribing I mean I'm getting it about an average of like two subscribers a month and I'm like why why are you here what do you want and I mean I'm not just saying this to try and put myself down or anything like that I, I am genuinely interested to know what it is that is making people hit subscribe because I can't tell I mean, I do wonder if it's the Dragon Age um, tutorial videos that I used to do, because and this is this is a bit of annoyance with me. This is a bone of contention that the most watched video that I have ever put up was one of the first ones that I did, and it's called "How to Become a Blood Mage" or "How to Unlock Blood, the Blood Mage Specialization" or something like that in Dragon Age Origins. And it has got over 5,000 views last time I checked. I'm pretty sure. Was it over 3,000 or over 5,000? I think it was over 5,000. And it gets me the most subscribers as well. And that really irritates me because it is the worst video I have ever made. Genuinely, it is awful. It doesn't even have a proper thumbnail. That is how little I care about it. It is a terrible, terrible video and I wish people would stop watching it. And the only reason that I think it gets so many views is because it's like cleverly disguised as a tutorial. And it's not really a tutorial. It's not. It's me waffling like an idiot while I go and do the Blood Mage quest in Dragon Age Origins. It's not actually a, a tutorial. Um, it's just cleverly disguised as one, which is why I did the um, the um, uh, the basic leveling guide uh, video because I thought, well, if you know, if you actually want a tutorial, <laughs> I'll give you an actual tutorial. But I'm not very good at it. I don't think I'm very good at explaining stuff. I'm much better at just waffling, aren't I? Um, yeah, but it really annoys me that that one gets so many views, honestly, because it is awful. Like, I mean, I have I have so many times nearly taken it down. That's how much it upsets me that so many people watch it. But then I'm like, no, because, you know, it brings people in. But um, I do wonder whether people just watch that and then subscribe. Just to see if I put any, you know, useful Dragon Age videos up and then never watch anything else. But I don't know. I mean, the, like these ones, the banished ones, are getting a decent amount of, like unique viewers because it tells you like views in total and then it tells you like how many unique viewers so how many actual people and it's like it's in the 20s a lot of, a lot of them some of them some of them get almost new, no views at all and then the next one will get like loads and it's like why have you all just skipped one that doesn't make sense but anyway but yes so i am i am genuinely interested <clears throat> to know why people are subscribing all 35 of you <laughs> all 35 of you i am genuinely interested to know why and what it is that you want because I can't tell so I'm just gonna keep doing what I feel like doing um, which is probably the best way anyway um, and I'm not fussed like I mean I've never wanted subscribers that's that's not why I do it I don't really care about it all of that um, if, if anything I mean certainly when I first started it, it was almost a bit like because I mean I, I made videos right and I told you know, friends and stuff like that who I thought might enjoy them and they watched them and some of them left comments and you know and that was kind of fun and and it was sort of you know a bit of back and forth and it was it was it was fun and exciting and then I think it was my Elite Four series I got comments from someone who I like didn't know in real life and I was almost a bit like put out or like I was sort of like what, what the hell are you doing watching my videos I didn't invite you <laughs> it was sort of that's kind of how I felt and when I started getting subscribers that were like people who I didn't know, and I was like, what are you doing here? Nobody invited you. <laughs> so that was like my general attitude in the beginning. Um, so yeah, I'm not really that bothered. I mean, I'm also I'm also now not bothered if people do want to subscribe. Okay, go knock yourselves out, that's fine. But um, I'm not, you know, I'm not really even keeping track of it that much. So yeah, there is that part of me that's a bit like, um... actually, I'll tell you what. I, I watched a interview with Olivia Coleman for The Crown and it was her and Helena Bonham Carter and they're sort of interviewing each other and it's on YouTube and it's a really good interview because it's like there isn't like an interviewer, it's the pair of them and they are interviewing each other because of course um, Olivia Coleman played the Queen and Helena Bonham Carter played uh, Princess Margaret in The Crown um, and they were both amazing but um, yeah there's this brilliant video of them um, and they're, yeah they're, they're like interviewing each other and Olivia Coleman, and I've heard her say things like this before because I watch a lot of interviews with her because I think she's 
adorable. Um, but where, like, she says that she loves, she loves her work. She loves making films and TV and all of that kind of stuff. She loves doing it. She loves turning up every day. She loves the people that she works with. But she'd be much happier if nobody watched it. <laughs> and I heard her say that and I was like, yeah, I get that. <laughs> I kind of understand that. Um, that you can like enjoy doing something creative. But you don't necessarily actually want other people to like see it. But then, but if they don't, what's the point in doing it? You know what I mean? I feel like that about writing as well. Which I don't do so much of these days, which is a, a terrible shame. And I'm really, I'm trying to rectify that. But I'm finding it very hard for some reason. But um, yeah, I, I have so much writing that I've done that I've never published. And on the one hand, it sort of breaks my heart that nobody's ever read it. On the other hand, I am thrilled that nobody's ever read it. It's like... I don't know, it's weird, it's hard to explain. But I mean, I've, I, that's the same about making the videos. I enjoy making them. I enjoy doing it. But it's a very sort of personal thing. And then you put it up on YouTube and strangers watch it and it's sort of like, wait, 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 where? where what, what gives you the right to watch my videos? And it's like, because you put them up on the internet where anybody could watch them, which, you know, yes, that's true. But <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Or maybe you don't know what I mean. I don't know. I'm definitely, definitely waffling at this point. This is just because... This is because there's nothing going on in Banished. That's what it is. The the village is running itself. I've got absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> We've got fucking four and a half thousand food in early winter. <sighs> We've got plenty of everything. We're back up to plenty of firewood, aren't we? Yeah, we're back up to like a thousand firewood. Someone just died. Ready the miner was killed in a cave-in. That's, that's bad, isn't it? Probably. We've got 18 labourers. How many people have we got now? Um, 191. Fucking hell. And we've got 79 families and 61 homes. Right. We need more homes. We've got a serious overcrowding problem. Well, I tell you what. Since that tornado so kindly cleared this area for us, should we build a little suburb of Upper Magpiton? I'm going to need to go and get another drink in a minute. My throat is really suffering at the minute because of the bloody cold that I had. Thing is, how, how would we get to it? Should we build a tunnel? Should we build a bridge? Ooh, I don't know. Um, We'll build a tunnel. We'll do that because I like a tunnel. We'll build a tunnel through there like that. And we will build a path leading up to the tunnel um, and then is that in the right place oh my tunnel's off center oh I don't like that my tunnel's off center never mind um, and then out here we will build like a little housing estate and this can be like the proper proper posh side of everything we'll just build a nice big path and um, did that build there we go um, Tell you what, we'll build another path down here. I know what we'll do. We'll have some proper, like, lakeside properties. That's what we'll do. We'll build some nice paths. Have some little lakeside properties down here. Um, where are our houses? They're a bit far away from everything. That's the only problem. Um, they will be able to, like, walk across here, though. Um, I know I've built the tunnel because I couldn't fit a path there, but they will just be able to walk across. Um, so we'll build some nice... Some nice houses. Uh, there's some more nomads, apparently. How many nomads are there? Eleven! Yes, we can let eleven people in. Because I'm about to build some more houses. This can be the, the nomad town, then. <laughs> we shall call this Nomadton. Um, and then... Some more houses. Build them facing that way, so they're proper, like, yeah. Lakeside. Lakeside properties long like that. There's a merchant who almost certainly has nothing that I want. Uh, wool, leather, hide coat, firewood, iron tool. Piss off! I don't need anything you're selling. What I do need, however, is builders to build these houses. Yeah, so you see that they are actually cutting across here. Probably nobody's ever going to use this tunnel unless I build something over here. Which I probably should because this town, this little suburb needs a reason to exist beyond housing. Trouble is we kind of don't need anything, do we? Ooh! We're, we're short on herbs. Well, well, we need to build another herbalist. Um, it's not a thing that's ever been a problem before. Uh, herbalist, we'll build a herbalist out here. In this little 
fit over here. It's not telling me that the supply of medicine is low though. That's kind of annoying. I feel like that's something that it should be flagging to me. Um, yeah, but what should we build up here? What should this town be? We can make it another little farming town. Another Farmington. What are our schools doing? They've got plenty of room. I mean, admittedly, we did have a little cull of students, didn't we? The fucking tornado came through. Um, there we go. Yeah, we were all right with schools. We're all right with churches. Kind of all right with everything. We've got plenty of food, plenty of clothes, plenty of tools, plenty of coal, plenty of everything. We've just got plenty of everything. And, and, ah, ha, 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 except alcohol. Except alcohol. That's what we need. We need another tavern. What is your problem? Storage for produced goods. Again? Really? How many fucking storage barns do you need me to build? I swear it's all the animal skins. <coughs> Must be the animal skins. There's our potatoes dying. Good, because we don't have room for them anyway. Okay, so I will build... Um, where's, where's tavern? Where's tavern? There we go. We'll build a tavern. Do, 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 do. We'll build it there and then we need something to make delicious delicious beer with um do we have wheat seeds because we can make we can sure we can make beer with wheat wheat we do have wheat um rather than rather than making an orchard because it'll take longer for the orchard because like like the if we plant wheat now it'll be ready by autumn whereas if we plant like apple trees or whatever it won't be ready for another three years or so um, but we could make an orchard as well because an orchard would look prettier that's the thing, this is meant to be like upper class um, actually, 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 actually I know what we should do there's another trader come to give me nothing because they're all useless we will build an orchard we will build the orchard we, you'll know assign a piece of ground to be an orchard um what are you what are you trading firewood leather log stone piss off man um somebody just died her, her, oh my god harry bertus the woodcutter was accidentally killed with an axe <laughs> oh was he now he was accidentally killed with an axe was he did he have a bitter ex-wife or something <laughs> accidentally killed with an axe uh, let's get another brewer uh, ale, apple, berry, blah, 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 wheat, yeah. Um. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll have a wheat field as well. And uh, I need to, I need to, I need to, whoa, I need to pause. Um, otherwise it'll be too late for them to plant anything. Um. Yeah, so we'll put a wheat field right next to the orchard. That's fine. Uh, and we'll make that. Oh fucking hell! It needs to. They need to chop down a tree. Really? You need to chop down a tree. That tree's not even on the fucking bloody. Wait, what tree do you need to chop down? Oh, do you need to remove that tiny bit of stone? I think that's probably what they need to do. Right. Somebody remove that tiny bit of stone, and then we'll set that to wheat. And we'll get ourselves a few more farmers, or at least one more farmer. Somebody gonna. Somebody gonna remove that thing? I need him to plant wheat. Like, now. Anybody wanna remove that tiny piece of... Oh my fucking god, really? Hey, there we go, somebody removed it. Right, wheat. Um, hopefully that farmer will figure out that this is the field that they need to farm. There we go. Um, and then this orchard can be apples. So in the future, we will have apples. Apple cider. But for now, we're gonna have wheat. There we go, clever thinking. Um, and I need another farmer for that. Right. And then, do we still need more houses? Yes, we definitely still need more. Oh my god, we need so many more houses. Um, so, if we build ourselves some more paths. How are we doing on stone? Oh, we're, we're fine. <laughs> we definitely have enough stone. Right, so if we build another little path out there. It makes it be like an idyllic farming kind of community. Um all sort of posh and lovely and nice. Build a little one there. Keep building that down there. We should probably chop those trees down so they can actually see the river that they're living on. That's kind of the whole point. Um, we might need another storage barn. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, actually, I tell you what, we can build another storage barn. Can we fit one in there? 
There we go. Pop one there, one there. Space them out a bit so it doesn't end up looking quite as tacky as um, um, that other place did, Quarryton. What should we call this place? Hmm, a little posh suburb of uh, Upper Magpiton. Upper Upper Magpiton. Um, we're low on something. What are we low on? What, what, what are we low on? Food? We're not low on food. We're slightly low on food. How are we low on food? How does this keep happening? I think it's because we're expanding too quickly. General goods merchant. Yeah, we don't need any of that bullshit. I mean, there's some seeds and stuff, but no. Um, yeah, I think, to be honest, I think it's maybe just because we've built so many new houses. And of course, the first thing they do is stock those houses up with food. So, you know, um, we, I tell you what we could do. We could build a little fishing hut. Um, right there. This is just like a, like a like a random little town. This is. I don't really have any kind of specific um, purpose for it. There's a bit of fishing. There's a bit of farming. There's a tavern. There's a lot of posh houses. We'll build some more houses. How many builders have I got? Twelve. Um, build some more houses. Space them out a bit so it doesn't end up looking quite so uh, you know, tacky as um, the other one did, Corridon. Um, We'll build a little pair up the back here. Make it, you know, just a nice little housing state. People are actually using the tunnel. Not many, I'll admit. Most are going around the outside, but there are people who are using the tunnel. This will be Magpie Tunnel. That's what this will be. Mind you, it wasn't the first tunnel, was it? What was the first tunnel? I think the first tunnel was this one. But this will be Farmington Tunnel, you see. And then this one over here, that will be Quarryton Tunnel. And this will be Magpie Tunnel. Magpie tunnel for Ma Ma Magpieville over here. That's <laughs> what we're going to call this. We're going to call this Magpieville. Or, wait, no. Orchardton. Yes. Because I'm going to get rid of this wheat field once that orchard's grown and then I'm going to have another orchard. So this could be Orchardton. That's, yes, that's what we should call it. The food is getting worryingly low there, isn't it? Um, give me some more fishermen. Um, yeah, I wonder if I should build some... Actually, I know what I could build, I know what I could build, I know what I could build. I could build a little... Um, what am I looking for? Pasture, that's the one. Build a little pasture. Is that going to be too small? Flip a chicken. Um, build one like there. Build a one there and we can have um, chickens in it. See what this merchant wants. Pear seeds, blah, 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 blah. No, piss off. They're actually, to be honest, there's nothing that I really want. I mean, yeah, there are more seeds and stuff that I don't have, but I can't be friggin' arsed, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Cannot be arsed. We're gonna finish building this little suburb, and then I think that's gonna be it for the story of Magpite. And not that it doesn't have more to offer us, it's just I never put another herbalist in for that herbalist hut, which is why we still don't have any medicine. Um, I to have four herbalists, really. Um, yeah, it's just that... Um, oh my god, you don't have food. Oh, wow. This is the first time ever that we've had a house with no food. I've never seen that symbol before. Have we got hungry people? Oh my god, we've got hungry people. There are citizens that are hungry. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, we need to fix the food crisis. And then we'll call it a day. I'm not leaving Magpie in the middle of a food crisis. What are we going to do to fix the food crisis? Oh my god, we've got people dying of starvation. How the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How has it come to this? There's 408 food there. Like, what? How have we got people dying of starvation? Is it just that, like, there isn't food near near enough to them? Is that it? Um, I'm going to get another... Whatever it is I need for this. Herdsman. Oh, I've got enough herdsman. And yes, we're gonna have chickens. Um, and then go over to this herd, this uh, chicken thing over here, and we're gonna split it. And that should take some chickens from there over to here, yeah. So then we'll have chickens over there, so we'll have a source of food over there. Um, this is really bad, guys. We've got people starving to death. <laughs> Like, this is not a thing that has ever been a problem in Magpyton before. 
I mean, like, be honest. Yeah, we've got people dying of starvation. How are you dying of starvation? It's not like we don't have food. We've got food. I don't understand how you're dying of starvation. Are you just, like, not eating for whatever reason? I mean, I can build I can build some more fishing huts. Build another fishing hut, like, there. Get a fishing hut going on there. Get some more fishermen. We don't need that many builders anymore. And we could have another forest area over here, so we could have like another hunter's hut and a gatherer's hut. Um, there we go, hunting cabin. Get a hunting cabin out in the woods and get a gatherer's hut. Also out in the woods, maybe like there. Uh, we could do that, so we now need eight builders. I don't understand how we suddenly have a food crisis. I think we've probably just hit a tipping point, have we? Oh my god, we've got so many people dying of starvation. I don't understand what's happening. Like, we've got food. I don't know why that house is incapable of getting food. The only person living there is a 17-year-old student. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe he just doesn't know how food works. Um, yeah, that's not... That's, this, this, this is kind of bad, actually. Oh, we've got another merchant. Are you bringing food? Because I might actually be tempted. Oh, actually, yes, you're bringing food. Okay. Well, I will take... I will take... Hmm, can I afford all of the wild cow meat? I need 6,000 units for that. Okie dokie. Oh, I've got a thousand fish in here. I should probably take that out. <laughs> um, and, and feed my people with it. Um... Yeah, wool. I can give you some wool. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're overpaying by 20, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll take some of that. And in here, I want to get all of that fish out. Because, oh my god, I suddenly need food. Um, yes, we'll take all the fish out. And we'll take all the mushrooms. And the onions and the pumpkins oh that's from when we had like the giant number of pumpkins isn't it and the squashes there we go we'll take all of that stuff out and um, that merchant can now piss off and that's just, oh my god that has done like nothing <laughs> why why are we suddenly in the middle of a food crisis I don't understand this don't understand this at all. How's 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 this going on up here? Mind you, this is what I said would happen, isn't it? From the get-go, I have said that we would hit a tipping point and all of a sudden we would have no food. I've said that from the start. So, you know. What's that name? Ambro... Um, what? Ambrosivland. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, fuck off. The names are becoming ridiculous. Ambrosivland and La Shade and Tavo. We've had a few Tavos. I'm sure we've had a few tables. Would would you all like to please hurry up and build these bloody gatherers huts and stuff like that? Because we really need food coming in, like, very quickly. Nobody's starving right at this moment, which is good. Trouble is, we're getting a bit short on labourers now. Um, things are built, so if we get some more gatherers and some more hunters. Hunters! Where are you? Hunters. Doop. No, that's too many hunters. Right. That might help, hopefully. But yeah, at this point we're getting short on labourers. Um, that's because so many fucking people are starved to death. Which might actually fix the problem. Because then we won't need as much food to feed everybody. Um, yeah. Oh, the cemetery's getting full. Is this cemetery getting full? That's because so many people have died so quickly. We might need to build another cemetery. Should we build a cemetery? Where should we build a cemetery? Whoop, that's 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 not gonna work. Oh, the cemetery's too big. I didn't know a cemetery could be too big. Right, we'll build a nice big cemetery out the back of there, so we don't need to worry about um, the cemeteries getting too full because that one is now full, and that one is heading for it. If we get another load of people starving to death, which we might, because fuck me, what is going on with food? Oh, our crops are dying because the. Bloody winter's come early. Oh, man. That field is the bloody bane of me. It doesn't seem to matter how many farmers I put on it. They just can't bring the harvest in fast enough. It's too big, that field. Um, that's what we've learned. 
would probably be better to have like two small fields rather than one massive one. Right. Oh god, food's still a massive problem. Right, I'm gonna need to build, I think, some more fishing huts. Build some more fishing huts. We'll build. The thing is, I need the people to put in them. Um, well, I can always take people off like other things. That's someone starving to death, I swear to god. Oh no, it was killed by a cave in. Right. And then we'll stick another one. We're having a lot of children be born. That's a shame because we don't have any food to give them. <laughs> um, although we're up to a healthier number of labourers, so we should be able to get the, the fishermen to staff those bloody fishing huts. And then I think hopefully we should be treading water again. We probably expanded too quickly. That's probably what we did. How are we doing on families to houses? We've got 78 homes and 80 families. We're not doing bad now. Um, everybody's healthy. Everybody's happy. Almost everybody's educated. 99% of people are clothed. We've got 43 children, 39 students, and 152 adults. 234 people. That is insane. Do you remember when we had like 20 or whatever it was? We started off in, in original Magpython here. Old Magpython. Lower Magpython. The original Magpython. What is this you're growing? Beans. We should probably shake it up, um, change it up a bit, shouldn't we? Got plenty of things to choose from. Next year we'll change it up a bit. What's that? Food. Oh, fuck's sake. I thought we were doing well, man. We were almost doing well. We need more fishermen to man some of those fishing huts. Right. We have now got 32 fishermen. All right. We've got 32 fishermen. We've got four herdsmen. We've got 16 gatherers. We have got 12 hunters. Um, two dairymen. Um, ten farmers. Surely, surely that is enough to feed the fucking town. It's not, is it? Look at it. We're barely treading water here. Got stone cutters being crushed by rocks. That's exciting. Um, did we build that other cemetery? Yes, we did. It's already got three graves in. Three of ninety. Um, that should cover us for a while, though. Here comes another merchant with things I neither want nor need. Um, what about I should build another bridge? Across here. What do you want? General goods? Fuck off. Um, I mean, I could probably pour some food. But... To be honest, I mean, this is probably how food is meant to be. Like, usually we have a massive, massive... This is the thing, we're so used to in Magpie having, like, just a massive surplus. We've got, like, 4,000 food that we don't need. But this is kind of how food is meant to work. Like, you're meant to eat as much as you produce, unless you're going to be trading it, which we're not. So, you know, it kind of, you know, it, yeah, it's sort of, it's working. I mean, we're treading water. This is how it's meant to be, right? Trouble is, then you have to keep treading water, even as the town expands. So as the town expands, you have to keep expanding your food, which is, you know, how it's meant to work. But still... More people dying from cave-ins and stuff. This is It's turning into quite an unlucky town. We're having a lot of people dying like premature deaths. Yes, and the graves are still disappearing because that graveyard was full and now it's not. So that's a bit fucking weird, isn't it? The graves are disappearing. Oh, I don't like that. Something's full. Storage for produced goods. Well, what's it full with? It's not fucking food, is it? It's bloody leather, that's what it is. And we've just got so much leather. <laughs> Should probably be throwing it away. I mean, what? How about that? How, how has that got so much leather in it? There's only, like, a handful of chickens over there. My bloody jobs thing has disappeared again. Why do I keep making my jobs thing disappear? That's really irritating. There we go. Yeah, so we've got, we've got 12 labourers. Which is, you know, kind of all right. Okay, so food crisis has been mostly averted. The new suburb of Magpieville has been built. There's a fucking trader who wants to trade useless nonsense with me. I think we're gonna call it there. This is it. This is the conclusion of the story of Magpython. It's been a very fun run with long gaps in between, I know. I know, it's been December, man. Everything always goes to shit in December, doesn't it? Um, 
Yeah, but anyway, yes, it's been a fun run, but there's not really much else I can do with it, to be honest with you. It's just going to be more of the same, ever repeating. And going into the new year, I want to do new things, new and exciting things. I have exciting plans. And I mean, you know how well my plans usually go, but, you know, the, I, I am committed to these. I have 35 subscribers now. Yes, I feel like that is a commitment. I feel like that's a responsibility. So, yes, I have plans. Um, there's some nomads arrived at the town hall. How many nomads want to join us? 28! That is a lot of nomads! Especially considering I'm struggling to feed the people I already have. Yes, sure, let's let 28 nomads join. Why not? Look at all the nomads. <laughs> this is going to be an absolute disaster. This is going to be the end of Magpite, and this is going to be the nomads came in and ate all of our food, and then we all starved to death. So before we have to witness that, everybody, I am going to say goodbye... And I shall see you, hopefully, in the new year.